Every tale in the Canterbury Tales contains its own structure of introduction, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution, which is often a cautionary lesson or moral. In the overall story, within which all other stories emerge, the introduction, well, introduces Chaucer, Bailey, and the pilgrims who meet at the Tabard Inn en route to the Canterbury Cathedral. During the rising action, while riding to Canterbury, the pilgrims have a storytelling competition. As they ride, the characters take turns telling their tales, many of which represent them. The knight tells the first tale, the miller interrupts with the next one. What follows are stories, each with prologues, scenes, and conversations, as well as introductions of character development and judgment for the stories themselves. The stories come from the reeve, the cook, the man of law, the shipman, the prioress, Chaucer's own tale of Sir Topaz and Melaby, the monk, the nun's priest, the physician, the wife of Bath, the friar, the summoner, the clerk, the merchant, the squire, the franklin, the second nun, the canon's yeoman, and the manciple. Lastly, the journey's climax sees the parson give a sermon, and during the falling action near Canterbury, the parson completes this sermon, one that speaks to Christian values, salvation, and offers remedies for the sins that have played out in the various tales throughout the journey. In the resolution, Chaucer prays for forgiveness for his less holy writings. He offers an apology for the less moral moments in the storytelling journey, and he includes a list of his own works and his hope for salvation as a kind of final legacy.